NBC. This is Action 7 News live at 10. Coverage you can count on. It's a mess. It's, I, I mean, I think somebody needs to come out and explain why this hole has been here so long. Tonight we got a call from a woman complaining there is a huge hole in the street right in front of her house. And it's a construction mess you've got to see more of to believe. She says the Water Authority dug it up more than a month ago, but nobody has returned to cover it up. We sent Action 7 News reporter Chris Ramirez to the problem causing a whole lot of grief on the 1400 block of San Jose Southeast. It's a story you'll see only on 7. Chris? Yeah, you know, Cynthia, I'll admit when we came out here we didn't really know what to expect. But let me show you what we found. This hole measures about 10 by 20 on the surface. And when we came out here, we quickly realized that no one on this block knows why this hole is even here. And more importantly, if it's ever going to be filled up, and we realize they're counting on us for some help. It's a mess. It's, I, I mean, I think somebody needs to come out and explain why this hole has been here so long. Four weeks ago, Kim Padilla was okay with what she thought was going to be some routine maintenance on some underground water lines. Today, however, she's not doing so well. Somebody could have driven their car straight into here. Padilla says two weeks ago, someone added these water-filled barricades and replaced the yellow caution tape with these orange flags. She hoped the next step would be to cover the hole. The longer the hole stays here, the more danger it's going gonna, it's gonna to be for these kids. So we did a little digging and we found out that the Water Authority is the agency responsible for digging this hole up they say that they needed to replace a pressure release valve but then the story gets a little deeper when we try to figure out who's responsible for covering this hole up over the phone the water authority told me their records indicate their end of the project is over and they pass the project over to a contracted out company called tlc plumbing to build a concrete vault to cover the valve and then eventually cover the hole i called that company we have a contract that we may do a bunch of these little things for the water authority mm -hmm. um, and what they may have done is that they don't have the funding or they don't know where they're going to get the funding for this particular project. Meaning it's possible money ran out midway through the project and now the two are feuding over who's responsible for finally filling this trench. It's dangerous. You know, I feel that, I mean, something needs to be done. Now, a representative from TLC Plumbing says that he'll call me back tomorrow morning on a day when it's not a holiday, and hopefully he'll have some sort of a deadline on when this hole is expected to be filled. And you can be sure, Doug and Cynthia, that we'll report right back to you on what we're finally told tomorrow. We're live in Southeast Albuquerque tonight. Chris Ramirez, KHC Action 7 News. Thank you, Chris. And we found out about the problem in that neighborhood because a viewer called us to let us know. And we want to know when news happens.